All right, all right, y'all. Today we're going to be going over the commander skills, uh, just some advice, the paths you should take, and some tips. So if we go into my info, you've got your commander skills there in the middle right. Go ahead and click on that, and we can see that we've got two different trees. We've got our war tree and our development tree. They both have some different bonuses and boosts, and you'll be using both of them. Uh, you do have a commander skill reset up there at the top. Um, costs a thousand gold or some cash in the black market, but it'll give you all your skills back so you can reallocate your points. Uh, most of the time you'll be in the war tree. Um, the first skill here is going to be uh, your battle flag. So it gives you just some more recruitment bonus. Um, this is where you'll find your long range attack, which you'll be choosing over the other ones. Um, you also have your recall all skills. So this is a very important one. You'll be using this a lot. Uh, it's very handy to get all your troops back no matter where they are. Uh, you've got your HP and defense bonuses that are next. Um, I always recommend taking melee unless your um, alliance just does a lot of 1-1-1 attacking, in which case you might want to put that in a long range because you don't have any front line. Uh, fleet speed's always awesome. Um, make sure you choose long range attack again. And then your next big skill is going to be that fast expansion. So that gives you a 10% fleet uh, increase on your boost. Uh, next big skill is going to be your battle SOS. I'll make a separate video on using this, but this is going to be your level 37 uh, skill. You'll be rushing this. It's really fun to use. It kind of changes the game a little bit. You get uh, one free solo attack, and all of your killed units get to turn into wounded units instead. If your hospital's full though, they will start dying, so don't use this skill when you have a full hospital. But do rush this skill, because it's uh, one of the most fun things in the game. You just get one free attack a day, and then usually 10 hours of healing. So. Um, next you've got more boosts. Again, always choose your long range. And then the last skill at 45 in the war tree is going to be slaughter. So you can just use this as well with your SOS and it basically kills some of the units that you would have wounded. Uh, so 10% of those guys will be dead instead. So if you get a big ol' 1v10 battle, uh, that's a good time to use your slaughter and kill all the rest of their units. Uh, that's about it for the war tree. Uh, sometimes I do like to just go to the recall all skill and then put everything else in development. That way you get that skill and a little bit of recruitment bonus, but then you can change over to development and start getting the other bonuses and upgrade your city. So in the development tree, start off and you just get your building speed and your uh, load boost. Harvest is your first skill. Gives you six hours of output instantly. You can use it twice a day. I always choose oil over food as you're coming down. Uh, recover mobility is an amazing skill. Let you kill more monsters. You get more commander XP. You get to that SOS and slaughter faster. Your recover mobility skill gives you 50 more mobility. I think twice, no, once a day. Uh, also another good skill, just more monsters, more XP. So I like to go for the mobility. Other people like to rush down and get their building speeds or load boosts. Uh, if you're doing more raiding, you might want the uh, load boosts so you can take more resources. But again, I like that commander XP. It's so nice to get to SOS first. As you're going down, you can see we've got more mobility. Um, I choose steel over minerals to start because um, you'll be needing that steel, but later on you might want to redo this tree and put everything in minerals or steel, just kind of depending on which one you need. Um, gather speed up is going to be your last skill in this tree and it just gives you two hours of uh, gather bonus, 100% additive, but that's kind of nice just to gather some more resources faster. Not as useful as the other skills, but it's still a good one. Just make sure you have five fleets out, gathering all five, five fleets so that you can make max usage of that skill. Uh, the other thing in here is you've got some research bonuses. Um, 
and more, I guess, depot, um, and then just more oil, steel, mineral, food gathering. Again, I always go for like the oil and steel, and then maybe later change it to minerals, but yeah, mostly you're just going to be rushing your SOS and slaughter skills. Um, again, I like to do a little thing where you put a couple points in and get that recall all and then change it over to the development tree so that you can start getting commander XP. This is kind of useful earlier in the game where you're not attacking a lot. Um, you don't really need these fleet speed and you know attack bonuses. You're just gathering all the time and upgrading all your stuff. So I kind of find that more useful, but to each their own. Um, I think that's about it for our commander skill trees. Just reset this whenever you need to. I will reset it maybe once or twice during a strongest commander event. Um, hopefully you get a good uh, lineup because your you know building speeds and recruit speeds are on different trees. So like if you get a zombie kill, then you can keep it in development and then you get a building day so you can keep it in development and then you get a gather day so you can keep it in development and then switching over to war so you can do your recruit day and then you know your strongest commander ke you want it in war obviously so that would kind of be your ideal strongest commander uh, you only have to reset once but um, you know, sometimes I'll reset twice just to get the extra, you know, monsters or gather speeds, build speeds. You know, if you're, if you're using a couple hundred hours of speed ups, it's pretty awesome to have that extra 10, 15, 20%. It does add up. Um, so all your bonuses you can see here on your stats page. Um, again, they're additive, but this is just a good place to come check out what your long range attack is and all of your uh, you know building bonuses your recruit gathering all those fun things all right everybody i think that's it for today be safe out there and remember this is a game so have fun And as always, the shameless plug at the end of the video, if you guys wouldn't mind liking the video, sharing it, subscribing, leaving a comment, whatever you can do to help me out. Hope you liked it, and I hope you learned something.